Good day, guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can play music on your R36S or R36H handhelds. The program itself is called GNU Music Player and it is available from Portmaster. So it should work on any OS's that can run ports. In this video, we'll be focusing on ArcOS for the R36S. You can either download it using the built in Portmaster app on your handheld if you have an internet connection, or you can download it from a PC and copy the files over to the SD card. Since we'll need to copy music over to the SD card after it's installed, we'll be downloading it and installing it from the Portmaster website on our Windows computer. We're over on our Windows PC now, and we've just opened up Google Chrome and gone to the Portmaster website, portmaster.games. I will pop a direct link in the description below. From here, we want to click on Games at the top, and then in the search box at the top, we want to type in GNU, space music, and there should be one port available, GNU Music Player. Click on that, scroll down a little bit, and click on download. That is the only file we need to download, but you will obviously also need your own music. Once it's finished downloading, we can close off Chrome and open up our downloads folder. Over in our downloads folder, we should have our GNU Music Player.zip. Just want to right click on it and extract. We want to go inside the new folder, GNU Music Player, and inside you should have one folder and one script. Next, I'm just going to insert my ArcOS micro SD card into my USB SD reader, and we'll pop it into the computer. Want to make sure our Easy ROMs partition has shown up, and it has as G Drive. So from here, we're just going to copy both of those files, Control A and Control C, go to Easy ROMs, go down to Ports, and we'll paste both of those files directly inside the Ports folder. Once they're finished copying, we want to open up the GNU Music Player folder, and inside you should have a music folder. Want to open up that, and this is where you would place all of your music. There is a built in file browser inside the app when you're running it on your R36S or R36H but it does always default to this folder. So if you had your music elsewhere, you would have to navigate to the other folder every time. Because of this, it is best to keep all of your music inside this folder. I'm just gonna copy some test songs over. I've got four MP3s from the YouTube audio library. It's gonna control A, control C them. And we'll go back to the music folder inside GNU Music Player under ports, and we'll paste them in here. That's all there is to it. We can safely eject our SD card and put it back into our R36S. We're over on our R36S now. We just wanna to navigate to ports. And inside you should have a new option, GNU Music Player. We'll just open that. Every time you open it, it will load up the GNU help screen. You can scroll using up and down on the D-pad. It does have the handy shortcuts as well as some information. Simply press A to continue. By default, it will start you on the file browser page. There are three screens you can toggle through using the start button. There's the file browser, the current playlist, and track info. There are two types of controls while inside GNU Music Player. There's the global controls which work on any page. And then there's page specific controls, which only work on specific pages. The main controls, which you'll need to know, start to change the page, which we've already covered, L and R to skip through the current playlist, and start and select to quit out. Over on the file browser page, pressing X will pause or resume the current playing song. B will play the currently selected song without adding it to the playlist. A will add the single song to the playlist. And Y will add an entire directory to the playlist. Over on the playlist page, Y removes a track from the playlist, B changes the play mode between random, repeat, or normal, and A will play the currently selected track. It does handle most common file formats, so you shouldn't run into any issues there. The main downside with this is there is no way to exit out while keeping the music playing in the background. This means, unfortunately, you can't load up a playlist while playing your favorite games. I'll also put the most common shortcuts down in the description below, just for easier reference. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.